Hello, and happy Tuesday. We um, we had a good Monday. We ha- hit some like a swell of creativity over here yesterday, where the boys got into movie making mode. Both my boys, and yesterday was Creativity Monday. They had made some funny, funny, funny movies around here. Have to share them with you, but. Aiden, my oldest, has started a new TV show where apparently he's giving haircuts, hairstyles on a TV show, which is um, funny because no, he has no hair cutting experience, but now he's a barber. So you can sign up for a haircut by Aiden if you want, if you're desperate. So um, I just wanted to share a scripture with you guys today because... Man, the scripture in a lot of ways interrupts our own messages, our own false messages. And um, that was kind of something that happened to me. I realized um, like maybe two weeks ago, I hit a blah moment, blah moments, I guess, where I just felt like really unsettled and I was searching, I was grasping for something to help me feel better. And um, I I just hit this, I just felt, I didn't have anywhere, there was nowhere to go to work out the blah feelings. And there was nothing to do to help work out the blah feelings. And it was kind of like a day in, day out, kind of this blah period. I don't know if you can relate. I maybe would call it like an unsettling feeling. And I just, I didn't feel good. And I like to feel good and I wasn't feeling good. And I started then kind of trying to figure out, well, why don't I feel good? And what will make me feel good? And how can I feel better? And not, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I do think that exploring our feelings is a really good thing, but sometimes that can spiral and it can be like trying to solve something that by a way that won't solve it. So for me, I just really turned, I guess, turning inward on those feelings. And that's really the best way to describe it. I was just turning inward. Well, what will make me feel better? How, how can I feel better? Because I don't feel good. And um, so I, I was, you know, trying, I was striving, I was really pushing to help my feelings feel better by feeling something different and trying to create something that would feel different. And I opened up the scripture to Psalm 61. And I, as I just opened up the scripture, I was hit with a truth. And all I can say is in that moment, um, it interrupted this kind of vicious blah cycle. And here's what the scripture said. It's just this from Psalm 61 uh, verse two. I'm going to read it in the ESV. And it says, From the end of the earth, I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And that little bit, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, interrupted my feeling, my feeling kind of vicious feeling cycle. And all of a sudden, it's so simple, but I had this realization, there is a rock that is higher than I. There is a rock God who is higher than I. He is other than I. And I was stuck in this I cycle. I feel, I need, I want, I, um, I'm i trying to fix, I'm trying to solve. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's a rock that is higher than I. And I need that rock that is higher than I. That rock that is higher than I is available in this moment. And so all of a sudden it just pulled my eyes up. It pulled my eyes up to the rock that is higher than I. And and it was like a breath of fresh air. It was like this moment, this like where the clouds parted and the sun, you know, the sun kind of broke in in that moment. And it was a looking up. And so that's what I am encouraging us to do in this season is to let your heart, let your mind, let your eyes be led to the rock that is higher than I. And it is a simple truth. And I think it's a simple prayer. God, lead me to the rock. Lead me to you. You are the rock that is higher than I. You are the, the one that is other than I, the strength that is other than I. And you are so available. So lead me. 
lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I can think of it like this. Um, it, my sister and I were running one day and we were running right outside of town on a path that actually we had run around this park many, many times. And it's like a crushed gravel park. And we usually just did this route out and back and we knew exactly where we were going. And we came one way, we went the other. And for some reason on this one day, we decided to veer off the usual path. And there were some like roundy circle trails that you kind of veer off and you hit this roundy circle trail and you run around it. And that kind of spits you off on another one and you run around it. And the setting, um, the scenery was really familiar. Like anywhere you looked, it was trees. It was pine trees, same kind of trees. Down was a gravel, crushed gravel, right in front of you were trees. And so we kind of hit these little side side turns and we're running around and, and all of a sudden we kind of were like, okay, we hit about our halfway point, time to head home. And as we started heading home, we thought we knew where we were going. We were running and all of a sudden we'd be like, you know, it feels like we're running in circles. It feels like we have been here before and we're not really making any progress out. It doesn't feel like we're any closer to the entrance to this, this path. And so um, my sister, Mary, who's like super good with directions and I am terrible with directions was like, we got to turn this way. And I was like, oh, I have a feeling that we're supposed to go that way. But I just always like rely on her sense of directions in these moments. We went one way and we ran around again. And surely about 10 minutes later, we're like, yes, we have been here before. We are running. It is official. We are running in circles. And we're like, OK, I don't know which way out. And in that moment, we looked up. I could look up and I could see the city water tower, the name on it and the, that water tower. And I knew in the moment that we looked up and we saw that water tower, we reoriented ourselves. And all of a sudden we were like, okay, out is that direction. The exit is that direction. We know where we are. We know which way we're headed. And it wasn't until we looked up and we could see that landmark that rock that had always been there. It was just waiting for us to look up so we can figure the way out. And I, I believe that this scripture, this Psalm 61, to lead me to this rock that is higher than I is a reorienting scripture for us. That in this moment where in some ways we don't, we don't know the way out, we don't know how to help solve our feelings and the unsettledness and the, the you know, what I really need in this moment type thing. And, and sometimes like just going, well, what do I need? What might feel good? For me, I found that just started, got me in this vicious cycle. Nope, that doesn't make me feel good. Well, let me try this. I, when I can look up and I can see the rock that is higher than I in that moment, there was such there's such a settling that can happen in our lives. And it really is a reorientation to the fact that God always is, that he always is our way out. He always is our strength. He is so steady. He is so faithful. He is so good that um, that unchangingness of God um, really is that reorienting like, oh, I don't. I don't have to figure this out. I don't have to even make my feelings feel better. I don't have to um, figure out how to overcome my blahness or what I even really need. I don't. I don't need to like solve that myself. But I'm going to look to this rock that is higher than I. And so that that's it. That's my simple. I hope that uh, you know that someone somewhere can join me praying this prayer. God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I today. You are always there. You are always steady. You are always stronger than. You are always mightier than and uh, full of, of wisdom and all those things that we need for our day. So just encourage you to pray that prayer. God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me out. I look up and I reorient myself around you, where you are, who you are. Um, and it's it draws us into worship draws us out of the mundane. It draws us out of the smallness into um, just such freedom. So happy Tuesday, guys. Good to see you. Um, hope you are just hanging in and um, being led to the rock that is higher. All right. We will see you again tomorrow. Kevin will be back tomorrow with, with some more tidbits. In the meantime, have a great day and take care.